Hello everyone and welcome back to Walk and Talk on Onco Daily. My name is Tate Markarian and I am your host for today. And we have our guest here, Dr. Marina Kanapleva for today. Dr. Kanapleva, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Marina Kanapleva. I'm a professor of medicine in uh, Albert Einstein Montefiore Cancer Center in the Bronx, New York. Uh, I used to work for a long time at MD Anderson Cancer Center, but I moved a couple years ago. I'm a director of leukemia there, and uh, I'm a physician scientist. I have a lab, and I'm doing clinical trials. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Konoplova, so we're going to take a little walk, and I'm going to ask you a couple of interesting and quirky questions, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's get started then. <laughs> so the first question. What legacy do you hope to leave behind, starting with some serious, deep questions? <laughs> I think, uh, you know, because I'm a physician scientist, so my dream was always to find out something in the lab that will help people, uh, our patients in clinic. And I was very fortunate to work with this uh, drug that is now called Benetoclax. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was really like my invention or it was just luck that I had a chance to work with it. It was in part because of my mentor who gave me this project. His name is Michael Andreev. I worked in his lab at that time when I came to this country. And uh, so like our initial studies actually show that the drug is quite effective and then went into clinic and now it's used like throughout the world. So, um, you know, I, I, I never expected that, that it, it will go that big. And, uh, you know, I don't take credit for that, but uh, I feel like very fortunate that this happened to me. And this actually like actually helped some people uh, to get better, you know, to live normal lives. So I feel like, you know, in some ways, like I feel like this will be like my legacy probably. Um, I'm not sure I can come up with something like as good anymore, but <laughs> certainly like we keep trying doing research and, uh, you know, trying to find the new uh, therapies. So I think if, uh, you know, any of those will make it to a clinic and will be successful, I think that will be like, you know, that's what I, I can wish for. A success. Yeah, yeah. A success for the <laughs> patients, really, for their well-being, for their health. Yeah. I think you underestimate yourself a little bit. I, I do think you will get there. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for all the work that you've been, you've done yeah. in, in this field. Maybe I'm talking from the voices of your patients. So mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> no, I did get a very nice email recently and I don't really know who sent me that email, but the person thanked me for his mother so his mother oh. was uh, taking this treatment and i really like don't know these people i haven't treated her I, I never met them but he sent me like a long email like thanking me for like my research and what we have done and that was really like gratifying um so sometimes like when you hear things like that you feel that you actually like have done something like meaningful in your life well, you made and, a change uh, for someone yeah and i'm like really as i said you know really grateful for that that i had this chance that's so nice. That, yeah, so. That's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then let's get moving. Can you describe a meal or a dish from different cultures than your own that has made a lasting impression <laughs> on you? No, we're jumping from one topic to another. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we had a very nice lunch. <laughs> we did. And, uh, <laughs> we had uh, a Jarian Fachapuri, yes. which is uh, essentially bread with the uh, Egg, egg and, and cheese. cheese and uh, so while you know I was born in the country of Georgia where this is like natural food but I haven't been there for you know over 25 years and this was kind of going back uh, home in some ways and I also enjoyed the food <laughs> That's nice so to that know. was really nice yeah that, so was, I think that was like the <laughs> latest uh, impactful dish that I had and uh, I'll come back and tell my mom that I had a hachapuri. <laughs> in Yerevan. And, uh, in Yerevan. <laughs> all the places. But that's okay, yeah. And I'm sure she will really be happy because she loves the country and uh, she still has friends there. So she wants me to stay connected, which I haven't done. Mm -hmm. But I think that was like a nice little <laughs> connection that we made today. <laughs> I'm glad that I was a part that. of that. Oh, yes. you're very welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you for making this happen. I, I'm, I'm very... <laughs> 
uh, I like that answer, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you could meet your younger self, if you could give your younger self an advice, what would you, what would you say? What would you give him? You mean it to myself when yes. I was uh, younger? Younger. Mm -hmm. uh, let me think about that. Okay. I think that's a hard question. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, and it kind of comes to the limitations and uh, you know what uh, I'm not as good at. Perhaps uh, um, I was always like very shy mm -hmm. and uh, so very reserved and really not connecting to people and it took me like a long long time to understand how important that is and in fact when i came to america my mentor who was like my boss in the lab he told me that you know i cannot just be in my like own shelf i cannot just like work in the lab 24 hours and mm -hmm. think that i'm gonna like make it and that's it right because you have to like connect to people you have to know the people you have to share you have to learn the, from people and uh, so I learned that, fortunately, um, but uh, I think if I knew that uh, in the beginning, I would probably like maybe make more effort. Obviously, like my, like, you know, myself, I'm very shy. <laughs> so it would, it actually takes effort to do that. Um, so it's not like so easy or natural like mm -hmm. for other people. But I think that's one advice that I would have told myself to get to earlier. <laughs> 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 to be more open to be more open to be more social to like connect to people and to like really learn how to do that mm -hmm. i think it's a skill it's uh, again for some people like you uh, it's like natural thing i wouldn't but, say <laughs> that <but> thank you <laughs> <laughs> but for some people like me it's like a skill that you have to learn and master and cultivate and it does require effort because it mm -hmm. kind of goes against what you want to do or what you don't want to do, but it's really important. I and think everything requires some learning and yeah, absolutely. You, know, you have right. to put absolutely. your mind into it. Yeah, but you have to it. like understand that this is like really something that you need to. Mm -hmm. Because before I was always like thinking, oh, I'm going to study hard, I'll work hard, you know, I don't need people. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I can just like, you know, do my job. And that would be good enough. It's mm -hmm. not. It's really like no, not. Do that, yeah. So you? that that was something that it took me a while to understand. I'm really glad that you came to it. At <laughs> yeah, some thank point. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we talked about legacy and other stuff. How would you want to be remembered by the people? Um. I think it's it's hard. The legacies, uh, I think, are more for people who really like make huge impact. Um, but it doesn't really have to be something like this. Yeah. How would you want to be remembered as? I think I want to be remembered as, a, you know, again, as a physician scientist uh -huh. who try to, you know, develop new therapies for patients with like deadly disease and uh, you know who was well, somewhat successful let's put it this way <laughs> and uh, yeah but uh, again it's it's i feel like legacies are really you know it's an it's a nice word that people use i'm not sure like i really feel that i deserve the legacy you know and that mm. i don't think i will be like remembered for a long time but that's okay i think you know i'm good about it but i think you know yeah that's kind of maybe not a great answer. But. Okay, I got that. I got that. But I will have to repeat myself is that that you underestimate yourself because <laughs> I don't think that way. But we all view ourselves quite differently, don't we? So yeah, yeah. Let's let's stop it right there. Yeah, my mentor always told me that I underestimate myself. Well, but see, he also, I'm not the only person then. <laughs> but he also said that this was always like a driver for me to move uh -huh. forward because I always like don't think that I'm where I should uh -huh. be. So I always like want to go to the next step. And that's why like, you know, I'm always like driven to do more because uh -huh. I feel that I'm not good kind of thing, right? So like what I'm doing is not good enough. <laughs> you have to do more and yeah, more. More and more and more, yes, and better. <laughs> and to keep in the topic, I have a question that's perfect for this topic is what motivates you? What motivates me? Yes. Um, 
I think, you know, well, as far as like science, I'm just like love science. So mm -hmm. I'm curious about it. I love the discovery of it, you know, uh, novelty, like mm -hmm. that you actually can do something totally different. But I think like really like motivation, um, you know, when I go to clinic and when I meet patients uh, who are, you know, sometimes they're so like grateful for something you just do as part mm -hmm. of your job. And they, you know, tell you all these nice things and uh, they thank you like for actually changing their lives. Uh -huh. I feel that this is like a biggest motivation. And, uh, but you know, at the same time, like I know like there are people that work just in the lab and they don't have that kind of access to their patients, mm -hmm. right? They're still like motivated. So sometimes, like I'm trying to share the stories and uh, oh, what so they, nice. you know, what these patients actually go through, so that they can understand that this is not like just a job, uh -huh. you know, just We're like changing doing, people's yeah, lives. But you're actually doing something meaningful. Uh, so I think that's my biggest motivation, probably, you know, patients who I treat. That's that's so deep. That's so <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, we talked about your profession and career all in all. And I would like to ask you if you could switch professions overnight and be just as successful and just as good at it as you mm. are right now for your current profession, what would you choose? Uh, I'm not sure I can be successful. <laughs> but uh, when I was young, I really liked like, literature mm -hmm. and I liked writing. So again, I was not, you know, as talented in that, but, uh, you know, I could see myself as like writing books um, and kind of inventive that way. Uh -huh. So I think that's probably what, you know, I would like to do. I don't, I don't what think would I will you write ever... about? What gender would you pick? <laughs> I, I, that, I, I don't know that. I haven't so... thought that much. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's just like, uh, I actually write, like write the, Oh, sorry, like the process of uh -huh. like writing and like putting yourself, like expressing yourself through the writing. On the paper, yeah, right? And, on uh, your you know, the beauty of the language and like how, how you like put the language together. Mm -hmm. So I actually like the process. I haven't really thought about the topics, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it would come. I, I don't I don't know the answer to that. Like I don't have any particular like, okay, story let's, to let's write about. Let's wait for a bestseller. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future someday. Maybe in the future, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another per, uh, question. So we, you talked a little bit about your insecurities, right? About what you were afraid of, maybe somewhat when you were younger. And this question is: What's one fear you have faced in your life and you've overcome it? How did you do it? You yeah, talked think, a little yeah, bit I about think it. I already kind of told you that because I was really like afraid to talk to people <laughs> <laughs> i was afraid of people and you know that i actually had to like speak with somebody mm -hmm. um and uh, i don't think like i fully overcome that like 100 percent because i still have that like barrier sometimes that you know for example right coming to this <laughs> meeting uh -huh. yeah, i you know i know dr Tamian for a long time i know him like really well i know how welcoming he is but i'm always like a little bit like stressed because i know i'm gonna meet people whom i never met uh -huh. and that i have to connect to them uh -huh. so like i have to like get over that but usually like these days it, it just goes very quickly uh -huh. so like i can actually i learned how to connect pretty quickly uh, but it's still like, you know, not fully. <laughs> so a I bit, still a have bit to work on that. <laughs> anxious, right? About it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit like anxiety. Like yesterday, I knew I was going to meet Dr. Sagan. Uh -huh. and he's like also like world, world famous. He's like famous research and, uh, you know, clinician. Yes. And I met him at other meetings, but we never really like talked. So oh, like, that was a really good opportunity yeah, for so that. Yeah, so like how I'm going to connect to him, right? Maybe he's like, you know, like very, like think like a god about himself and I have to connect to the people. I, I didn't really think that way, but I knew that I had to like make this mm -hmm. happen. So mm -hmm. it, it was like a little bit like hesitation on my part, um, like some anxiety going in. And it just happens at any meeting I go to. 
like before I get there, I'm like anxious and <laughs> a little stressed out. <laughs> How do you feel right now then? I, right now I feel perfect. <laughs> I'm <laughs> relaxed and very happy. Yeah. I'm really good that we helped you in overcoming yes. little bits of your anxiety. Thank you. Yeah, no, really, thank you. really glad that we yeah. uh, came to do that. And I'm really, really thankful for you for agreeing to do this interview with me. I think it was fun. Yeah, it was Wasn't really it? fun. Yeah, it's actually thinking about yourself that you don't do that frequently. That's, <laughs> that's really fun. <laughs> and sharing it with We can we'll be try to do that yeah. one more time someday. <laughs> no. But it's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Dr. Markarian. I was your host for today. And this was Dr. Maina Kanaplova, our guest. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>